Hello, and welcome to Meet the Masters. In this episode, we're highlighting Lilu, a mobile support master who can yank enemies and allies out of combat and quickly traverse the map. Lilu is a seer from Nashrun who travels with her spirit animal Haru and seeks answers for the death of her sister. As a ranged support, Lilu is most at home scouting out objectives and controlling the battle by lifting allies to safety or pulling enemies out of the fight. Lilu wields the Tomahawk, a holy totem that fires slashing bolts of wind. Tomahawk can be augmented for increased damage, increased attack speed, or increased range. But it's important to note that enemies close to Lilu receive less damage from her attacks. Her passive skill is Razor Beak. Every fourth weapon attack that strikes an opponent delivers an additional weapon strike of damage. Her survival skill, Wing Rider, calls upon Haru to lift Lilu into the air, allowing her to move a short distance and evade all incoming attacks. Bird of Prey sends Haru to lift the target into the air for a short amount of time. During this time, Lilu can reactivate the skill to slam the target down, releasing a damaging shockwave to the area. Haru can lift enemies or allies, and they evade all damage while in the air. This skill gains increased cast distance and will stun enemies at the center of the shockwave when it's ranked up. Talon Swarm drops a large marking on the targeted area, dealing intermittent damage to all enemies within and granting vision in Titan Ruins. Ranking up this skill increases its radius and the frequency of damage intervals. Birds of a Feather calls upon Haru to lift Lilu into the air and quickly ferry her across a long distance. Activating this skill a second time will cause the travel to end early. Ranking up this skill will replenish Lilu's stamina as she travels, and will grant increased movement speed to allies she passes over. Feathercrest shoots a charm in a straight line, marking the first target it strikes and revealing them for a short time. Activating the skill again will send a Spiritual Hawk to damage and stun the enemy, as well as plowing through and stunning all other enemies it contacts. Lilu's ultimate skill is Screeching Crest. Lilu marks any target other than herself, causing bursts of damage to emanate from them in short intervals. The mark lasts for a short duration, or until the target dies or tags out. Adding ranks to this skill increases the attack range and duration of the ability. Lilu is extremely mobile and makes an excellent scout, but she also has powerful AoE and zoning abilities to contribute to the overall fight. To play Lilu fully as a support, kit her out with Birds of Prey and Birds of a Feather. Pull allies out of danger and keep yourself safe when scouting alone. You can also use Lilu's mobility to quickly grab Titan sights and other objectives around the map while staying a flap ahead of the enemy. For a more aggressive kit, Talon Swarm and Feathercrest work well to zone and harm enemies with large areas of damage and multi-target stuns. Combining Feathercrest with Screeching Crest can absolutely devastate a tightly grouped enemy team, so place your skills wisely for maximum effect. When playing against Lilu, it's important to note that Birds of a Feather has a very long cooldown. If she wastes her escape on an initiation, punish her while she scrambles to get away without Haru's assistance. Also note that the majority of her AoE damage can be avoided by not standing in the damaging area of Talon Swarm, or by tagging to your other master if you're hit by Screeching Crest. Lilu is an excellent all-around support with mobility, initiation, zoning, and rescues, but do not underestimate her team fight damage potential either. Thanks for watching. You can learn more about other masters at playmxm.com, and be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube for more info.